Hey people, it's me again, trying to answer all of your home ownership, home buying questions. And one I get all the time is, can I buy a house if I have credit card debt? Okay, listen, of course you can, yes. But there's a lot of things that go into figuring out if you qualify for a mortgage and how much mortgage you qualify for. And your credit card debt is just one piece of it. So when lenders are reviewing your loan application, they don't just look at your debt but they look at your debt to income ratio and that's a comparison of how much money you make versus how much money you owe. So there really is no answer that fits everybody here. Everybody's situation is different, right? I mean, we all owe different amounts. But if you do have credit card debt or if you have any other kind of debt, there's a lot of things that you can do that are gonna help you get qualified for that mortgage or even help you qualify for a bigger mortgage. So the first thing I gotta tell you is you absolutely wanna talk to a really good lender. Now seriously, I cannot stress this enough because they're gonna be able to look at your loan application and give you the best advice for you. Um, what I'm telling you now is stuff that is generalized, but they're gonna help you get to that homeownership goal sooner. So if you're ready, getting ready to buy or you think you wanna buy next year, talk to a lender, okay? Now, in the meantime, you can pay down or pay off your accounts wherever you can, because when a lender is looking at your mortgage application, they're gonna be required to account for the minimum monthly payment that each credit card requires or each account. So if you have a $79 minimum monthly payment on a card with a high balance or $150 payment with a low balance, try to pay off the low balance completely and then that $150 a month disappears and your debt, in, debt to income ratio approves. If you have good scores, but you're trying to improve your overall credit score, do your best to get each one of your accounts down to 30% maximum usage, 30% of what your limit is, right? And if you're already at that 30% threshold, try to get everything down to 10%. The other thing you can do is call your credit card companies to see if you can be approved for higher limits because that automatically improves the percentage of the balance you owe. Just make sure you don't spend that, all right? And once you pay off accounts, don't close them because that also keeps your available balance percentages higher and makes your credit look better. But keep your balances as low as you can. Don't charge anything new. If you're usually using your cards all the time to get those points, now is probably a better time to just stick with cash because if the lender runs your credit and your, your charges are up, that's gonna hurt your credit score, all right? So the other thing I need to tell you, do not open any new accounts. That means car loans, credit cards, personal loans, any other, any other kind of debt. Don't go shopping for new furniture, okay? And if you currently have a car loan, a lender considers that loan paid off if there are 10 payments or less left. That means that car payment doesn't count as part of your debt to income ratio either. And that can give your mortgage approval a huge boost. So if you're getting close to that 10 payments or less left and you don't want the lender to consider your monthly payment on your car, you can pay that down uh, with a bigger chunk of a payment and that's gonna make you look better too. Now, before I go, I wanna remind you, the most important thing you can do is talk to a really good lender so you have the best guidance and you make the best approach to buying your home, okay? If you need a good lender, trust me, I have some really good ones. And if you have any questions about anything I just said, give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, send me a message, whatever works for you. I can't wait to hear from you. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.